Hey guys, what's up? Sam here. So about a few weeks ago, Google released a bunch of new products. Now I did a video on that and you can find it right here. So naturally they released their big flagship phone for the year. And while I was excited to see what they had to offer, I was a bit saddened by the high price tag and honestly it was a bit underwhelming. So I asked myself, is it worth upgrading for my current Nexus 6 feet to the brand new Pixel or Pixel XL? I'll answer that question in a video right here. However, a couple days ago, my hope was restored and I got a brand new update on my Nexus 6P. So I present to you Android 7.1.1. So as you start it up, it looks just like the regular version of Android Nugget. We don't get the new Google search icon, nor the new rounded icons, or the new nav buttons. And holding down on the home icon does not bring up the Google Assistant, swiping up on the app drawer icon does nothing either. So it's basically the same Google Now launcher as before. However, on the home screen, there is something new that you can see, and that is a new feature where you can long press on certain app icons to get extra features without having to jump into the app itself. It's pretty much like Apple's Force Touch, but without all the extra jazz. Just hold it down and click on the option that you'd like to jump into. The quick toggles at the top are pretty much the same as before, except that it's a little rearranged now, so you have space for six quick toggle icons at the top instead of the original five. Now jumping into the settings menu, the first thing you see straight off the bat is the new support section. Right, you're able to live chat or call a Google technical agent if you're having any problems with your handset. However, I got none of these options. I'm guessing probably because my location, I'm not eligible for that kind of support. So instead, I'm given a link that can take me to a web page where I can pretty much figure out the issue myself or send an email to Google for help. Next up, there's this new section in the settings menu called Moves. This is where you can toggle quick gestures for your phone such as double tapping the power button to access the camera. Now if you already have an Nexus 6 p that's nothing new. Secondly, if you're in the camera app, you're able to give the phone a twist to switch between the rear and front facing cameras. There's also one more move that allows you to see your notification once you pick the phone up. Now moving down in the settings section, there's a special new feature called Smart Storage. This is where your phone will automatically delete photos and videos that have already been backed up to the cloud. Now I thought this was pretty genius on Google's part. As working in my job, people always come to me saying that their phone is full and they don't know what to do. Now speaking of pictures, the camera app has also been updated in this edition of Android Nugget. In the new camera app, we're able to set various types of grid in the viewfinder, but more importantly, they gave us a bit of manual control, where you're able to set the exposure of the photo before you take the picture. Now to do this, just tap on the screen and slide your finger up or down. This is pretty cool and a step in the right direction, as I wish Google would provide a fully manual camera in their handsets by now, especially with such a great camera module. One of the features that Google mentioned at their I.O. conference earlier this year was that seamless updates to their operating systems will be rolling out soon. And it seems that this is not a reality. Because when you go to system updates, you're no longer greeted with the check now button. But instead, it just informs you whether or not your phone's up to date and gives you a little summary of the status of your current operating system. It also seems that this phone is now daydream VR already, as it's evident by this little option here in the display section. Also, there's a new dialer. So now when you receive a call, the interface is a bit different. Some may not like this, but for me, I do find it visually appealing. The Google Keyboard also got a much appreciated update. Now this is something that third-party keyboard apps have had for some time now, and that is GIF support. For now, I'm only able to use it in the Messenger app, but it's quite handy and easy to use. Now the final feature that I can see that's been added to this update is when I go to turn the phone on. And there it is, Google has now added the option to restart your phone easily with the push of a button. So that's been it for me in this video guys, if you like what you've seen so far, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Zine.